Hello guys, how's it going? This is Nick, and we're back for another episode of Indie Impressions. And today we have the absolute pleasure to look at BitTrip Presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Alien, the sequel to the very popular BitTrip Runner game of the BitTrip series. You may be familiar, the series has quite a few entries, and I think out of the whole thing, Runner is probably the most popular. At least that's my guess anyway. Uh, but I have some very, very favorable impressions of this one. I had a chance to play it. I probably spent about, what is this, about two hours now working on this one. Uh, and no, I'm not abandoning blind videos, but in this case, I absolutely needed the practice because this game is definitely a bit of a challenge as the first one was. Only, in this case, I think it's maybe a little bit less so, and in a lot of ways, it's a lot more accessible. Uh, so, before we get into things, I just want to say a couple of things off the top, and I'll just do the very quick uh, couple of negatives that I've found, and these are almost completely inconsequentially small, like stupid little gripes. Uh, but then we can move on to the happy stuff. So, little things that I thought were kind of if iffy were, uh, there's a lot of loading screens, and this is, again, really a stupid little gripe, but from the onset of first opening the game in Steam out to actually getting to playing the game, there's, I don't know, something like four to six loading screens. Each part of the menu actually has its own little loading section, and it only takes a second, it's not a big deal, but like, if you want to just get right into the game, it just feels a little bit bloated. I mean, whatever, it's not a huge thing. Um, aside from that, though, also the fact that maybe, if you're a completionist like me, this game might end up being a bit of a nightmare, but really that's only uh, based on what kind of level of skill you have. I mean, there's so much to see and do in this game, you're gonna probably spend, I don't know, easily 20 hours just to get through the campaign. There's 100 levels, and I've spent already two-ish uh, just to finish the first world, and I think there's at least four worlds, so, well, I know there's 100 levels, regardless. Getting everything in all the levels and perfecting them, if you care to, could be a Herculean task, so I just want to let you guys know that at the outset. Again, not really a, a complaint so much as just something to note. It may be a gripe, at, at worst. Uh, but this is, you know, a really good, solid uh, evolution for the first runner. It's uh, very much the same format. Essentially, you're guiding your uh, commander video from point A to point B and uh, avoiding all of the obstacles on the way. And there's just a whole bunch of little uh, nuances to learn as you go through. You'll see this is the first world here. We've got a sort of a Super Mario World 3, or Super Mario 3 um, layout to it, where we actually have some branching paths, and there are keys you actually have to collect. There's uh, branching paths within the levels as well. When you open up the key vault, uh, then a bunch of invisible keys that take place throughout the levels uh, are actually going to become solid, and you can actually pick them up, uh, which will then open up new paths. So I just want to start at the beginning, We'll do the first level on just right, and we'll move on from there. I'll do some of the easy levels, I'll do some of the hard levels. I'll probably do one level uh, that is extremely Realizing difficult. The gravity of the situation, Commander Video plummets back There's to the layers very entertaining of a little cutscenes and into the soft, bulbous bosom of a new one. Unsure of the outcome, but retaining optimism, our hero is guided to his skyward perch, and thus begins his stay in. The Welkin Wonderland. And there you have it. Uh, the cutscenes are usually quite brief, but they're generally charming. Um, I wouldn't call them humorous, but they definitely have a nice feel to them. And it really sets the tone for what is a an absolutely phenomenal new art style that I really think this is a big improvement over the original game. And not that I thought the first game had too many problems uh, in terms of art style, but just now that I've seen what it could be, I like this so much better. It's got more of like a homespun feel to it, and just a really nice like warmth and charm uh, that I felt like the first one, in, in a way, felt a little generic, comparatively anyway. Uh, so this might end up being a very, very difficult game for me to commentate live, but I thought it would be worth doing anyway. Uh, just because I feel like I got at least semi-decent at it. I'm gonna skip the checkpoint because I want to be a big jerk. Try and get a perfect on this again. You'll notice I had exclamation points on all of those uh, levels, meaning that I had actually gone through. I actually spent the first half an hour or so of playing this on the hardest difficulty level, just on the first level, uh, just trying to perfect it. <laughs> so there you go, if that's any indication of my dedication and or completionism. Uh, fanaticism, then that will be it. So things start out very, very easy. Just jumping, sometimes holding jump to glide a little bit, and then when we perfect the level, we're greeted to this nice little cannon sequence, 
which I've still yet to really master, but if you time it just right, you can get a bullseye. Oh, I actually pulled it off. Amazing. And you want to get the highest score possible, of course, because you're competing with all your friends on the leaderboard. So, that is probably about as well as you can do. I mean, I skipped the checkpoint, I got the uh, bullseye, I got all the gold bars, I got all the plus cross things. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much a, an absolutely perfect run of the middle difficulty level of the first uh, level. The only thing that I could have done better is I could have done a lot of dancing, and you don't actually unlock dancing uh, until the second world, so you gotta actually go through the first area before I think that's available. You'll also notice now that I have uh, gotten a bullseye with the cannon there, that exclamation point in turquoise actually now has a little X over it, meaning I get a bullseye. So if you want to be... And this is what I was sort of mentioning before, if you're a completionist like me and you want to get absolutely everything in this game, this is going to be a nightmare for you, because you're going to have to play through every single level, like, six times at least. Uh, it, that's if you perfected them, probably hundreds of times if you haven't, uh, to get, you know, each level completed, perfect, and then on each difficulty level, and then each time with a bullseye, it just sounds like too much for me to want to even try. Alright, so anyway, that's just the little miniature complaint that I have. Uh, so let's do a somewhat more difficult or challenging level. Let's try this one. I don't know, I'm sort of picking this at random. And we'll see if I can find a good one here. There's, uh, there's a lot of levels, I have to say. Like, I was pretty impressed with the variety. And due to the art style, and oh, we gotta do right stick turn here. Due to the art style being so much more interesting, it's like, it never feels repetitive. And also, since a lot of the levels have branching paths, it actually feels pretty cool to be able to play them over and over again as you fail. Because you actually don't have to take the same way through it each time, well, at least with most of the levels. There are a few that are a bit more linear. So if, you, uh, if you're if you paying attention, you'll notice I'm kicking through all of those barricades. That's actually an important thing I just passed there. I'll just take that checkpoint. Oh, there's so much going on, it's very hard to say anything. So kicking through barricades, sliding under projectiles, uh, jumping over spike shell dudes, jumping up ledges... Ah, oh, I forgot to duck that time. Uh, I am using a 360 controller, by the way, which I absolutely recommend that all of you do, if possible. Uh, trying to do this on the keyboard just seems like a nightmare to me. I'm gonna go the upper route this time, the harder way, of course. Kick, and there we go. And we got a treasure chest which actually unlocks a costume, and we'll touch on what that means shortly. And thankfully those checkpoints are there, I think those are actually a great idea. Uh, it, it's also great that you can skip them too if you want to be, you know, super hardcore. And there we go. So that actually wasn't too bad, I'm amazed that I can actually still play this and talk, I have no idea how I can do that. Uh, when you actually get your hands on the controller and get this in front of you, you're gonna be in a little bit of information overload. But I also do have a huge propensity... Oh, that was the worst shot I think I've ever taken on the bullseye. I'm sorry for that. I have a little bit of a propensity for this type of a game, and I would liken it to something like your Guitar Hero Rock Band, uh, where basically what's going on is your brain is starting to learn, like, muscle memory reactions for all the different encounters and different things that you're going to run into. Uh, in the first game, I felt like it was a lot of just memorizing everything, but in this one it feels a lot more fair, like you actually just start to get a feel for what it is you're supposed to be doing. Uh, so I, I really like where we went with this one as opposed to the first one. Let's do an even harder level and see if my brain can still handle it. And yes, we are still doing the medium difficulty level at this point. The winding wild wind works or something. So now we've also got to block things by hitting right on the D-pad. I think this was actually the level that I had intended to pick. It's a little hard to remember which one's which, to be honest, but that's no big deal. And then we got to hit up on those to make sure we vault through the air. Uh, you can also combine commands, so as you saw, I jumped and also used my blocking shield, my pong bat there. And jumping up that, blocking up. I find when I get in a bind, it actually helps me out to talk my way through. Uh, so if I actually say the commands that I'm supposed to be doing, I feel like I do better generally. Uh, th there's also a, an element where you're, in a way, you're supposed to be sort of following along uh, to the music. and. I I don't feel like that correlation is quite as strong as it was in the first game, but it is definitely present, and it does definitely keep you a little bit more on task if you're actually listening and pressing buttons along to the music, which I'm trying to do, but you know, how many things can one human mind do at once? 
apparently more than I thought. Block, alright, and finish. That actually went quite well. Um, I did miss a lot of gold bars, though, but that's okay, because I already got them in a previous run. So that counts as an amazing accomplishment, and we got an alternate exit, which if you're familiar with stuff like Super Mario World, you'll know that means we've uh, opened up a different part of the map, potentially. Sort of like one of those boo houses. Of course, I had already done that, but just so you know, that's how you would do such a thing. Uh, let's. I want to show you something kind of cool here, too. Uh, in the uh, some of the special levels, you'll notice there's a little cartridge up there in the, uh, the top menu. And we unlock that on... Where was it? One of these levels had the cartridge. The one I played already. Was it the... No? Alright, I guess it doesn't show it. Regardless, uh, there was a cartridge. I picked it up. I opened up this level. I guess it was on that level, actually. So if I hit Y right now, I go to Retro Land, and we can check out the old school version, which is sort of like the bonus level that was now replaced with the canon level. And this has a really great feel to it as well. It's like an awesome NES-style aesthetic. So obviously, same deal. Collect all the gold bars. They actually kind of blend in a little bit there, and I just screwed that up already. I want to start that over, because I never, I never got the perfect on the first run for whatever reason. I think it's just because the, the gold bar blended into the background. I gotta not do that. Miss it, I mean. So, I mean, my general impressions have been almost entirely positive. Like I said, there's very little that I can really fault the game for. Uh, the couple of little gripes I've had are, like, so minor that I don't even really care about them in the long run. Uh, this is the kind of game I'm gonna spend tons of hours on, and, you know, I have a few friends that have this also, uh, and I'm gonna definitely be trying to compete on the leaderboards. Love the background music also, all of it. Like, the retro stuff, the normal stuff, it's all really well done. And I also want to show off... Oh good, we got the perfect that time. I want to show off also the, um... Oh, and 1 out of 25, so I guess I got 25 of those cartridges to find throughout the whole game. That's going to be quite a task. Uh, and now I'll actually just show you the characters. That's what I was trying to say a couple of times there. Uh, throughout each world, you unlock, I guess, one new character, and then you can get costumes for all the characters. So I've got Commander Video, Command Girl Video. Not a huge fan of her art, to be honest. She looks a little awkward, but whatever. And we've unlocked Uncle Dill the Pickle, and he's got Gag on this and Cucumber Bumpkin. I may as well... let's play as him for once, because I haven't actually tried him yet. And we'll do... Let's do the Cumulonimbus Conundrum, and then we'll do the boss. And then we'll show you, I don't know, I'll do one level from the second world, I guess, because it gets substantially harder. And I should also probably do one where it's just, like, way harder than it can handle, so you can see how crazy it gets. And, oh, trust me, I'm not trying to dance right now. That's more than I can handle. Like, honestly, once I found it, I had to do that to maximize my score. I thought this might be the end of my ability to think. Um... I'm gonna have to actually be quiet for a second, try and concentrate on this, because this has a really crazy path uh, for the key, which I actually don't think I got. So we're gonna give that a shot. So we gotta break that lock. Oh, jeez. That was not good. We're gonna break the lock, and then we're gonna head into a pretty harrowing little tunnel. Kick down, up, down, up, under, lock, jump, 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 kick, down, up. Up, down, up, down, kick. I'm looking at this like I'm playing guitar here, I'm telling you. Oh, and that's the part I gotta remember to block. That screwed me up a bunch of times. But once you get into the zone, this game feels amazing. You feel like you're a freaking ninja. Which is always a nice feeling to have. Not enough games make you feel like a proper ninja. A lot of games want to pretend. But this one does it right. Alright, so I gotta kick... Block. Oh, I hit down, but I was just a little too late. I keep saying I'm going to be quiet, and then I don't do it, right? The commentator's curse. Alright, up we go. Down. Through the lock. Over. Kick. Thank goodness, he finally shut up. Oh, I blocked instead of kicked. I'm gonna make it through this, don't you worry. I've got the charisma. I've got the willpower, and gosh darn it, people like me. I know that's not actually the quote. K. 
kick, up, down, up. When I first saw people playing this, like, oh my god, I couldn't believe, like, I would even have a chance at this. I saw Northern Lion doing this level, or, or one of the levels like this that was of a similar difficulty level, and I was just, like, thinking to myself, man, if I get this, I'm not gonna stand a chance. And I was surprised to see, actually, I can keep pace with him on the leaderboard somehow. I don't know what, how I did it, I'm just amazed. Alright, through the lock, there we go. It's like both harder than it looks and easier than it looks at the same time, and I know that makes zero sense at all. Ah, oh, that's... that's the worst. I thought I had it that time. I'll give it a couple more tries, and if not, we'll move on, because I don't want to stagnate. Oh, really? I just decided to run into a wall. Fine. Maybe it's the pickle that's doing this to me. It's pretty intense, man. <laughs> oh, I missed the freaking target. Oh, that's the worst. I saw it coming and my fingers just didn't move fast enough. Well, the nice thing though is you learn a little bit each time, and provided you're trying, which that was not a good try for me, provided you're trying you will uh, eventually make it through much harder things than you expect to be able to. At least that's been my experience. So don't be too put off by it. If this looks far too difficult, there is another easier mode and you don't even have to do what I'm doing right now anyway. So this is just for the masochists out there. And now I guess this part I can just breeze through, I don't know. No, I'm not breezing. Oh, that. I see the green thing and I see the, the thing I have to jump and I'm like, there's no way I can make it through that for a split second and I, I like can't get it through my head that I have to do both. All right, last try. You gotta make this one count. Yes! Oh, I made a count. Treasure chest is mine, baby. Alright, awesome. And why not? Let's do the hard path on this one too, because it's going to be way easier than that. Oh, I'm glad that I could pull that off at the last moment. I was actually supposed to take the path down at that point, I think. Oh, and I get a chance to do it over again. May as well try and finish it out on the right. You know, path. No. That I actually screwed that up on purpose because I saw that I wasn't going to make it in the proper jump. This may end up being a somewhat long episode. I hope you guys don't mind. Runner 2 is worth it. I may have screwed that up. I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes which path you're supposed to take. In general, if you take a harder one, though, I believe they reward you with extra gold bars. And I can't really look... I was just gonna say, I can't really look at my tag in the corner to see if I'm getting the proper amount there, but I tried to do it as I was saying it, which was a huge fatal mistake. If you're watching at home, do not play this game while distracted, it is not a good call. When I was playing it last night, I had people messaging me on both Skype and Steam, and it is not the right way to do this at all. You will only have heartache. You can actually duck under uh, both projectiles, the flame and the pixels. Hey, I did it! Oh, I am so proud of myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you're applauding at home. Really appreciate that. So let's do a little bit of bullseye action here. Let's see if we can pull this off and get a super, super, super perfect. I don't even know what they call it if you get... Nope. Alright, well, I got close. That uh, pickle goes in backward. And there's your quote of the day. So let's add up our score here. Get, get, get. Lots of getting. Toggle our micro leaderboard. I don't know, it says I'm number three. I don't understand what this leaderboard's saying. Maybe it's just because there's only the press copies out right now, but it seems like I'm not number three at anything yet at all. You know, if I danced a couple of times, I could have easily pulled off the number one spot on that. Oh well. There are also proper leaderboards with all of your features and requests and things. Uh, 
if I go back out, I might as well show this off too. Oh, and tons and tons of stat tracking as well. If you're, like I said, uh, if you're a completionist like me, you're going to want to know all of this information. Yeah, it just keeps going. It's like you're playing Grand Theft Auto or something. And then let's look at rewards. That's another thing. Uh, all kinds of little mini in-game, like, micro-achievements that lead to the proper achievements. You'll see there's a lot to get. The dancing ones are easy, though. You can knock out, like, 100 dances in one ep in one level if you get the right level. Uh, probably not 100, actually. Make that more like 50 if you're lucky. Uh, so let's do leaderboards, just in case you want to see what that looks like. Hey, rank 43, that's not too bad. And in the first level, rank 23, which is going to be blown to smithereens once this game actually is released. You can see some of the other people on the list there. Look, I'm ahead of Northern Lion, holy crap. By just a few places, though. I'm not bragging. I'm just excited. Alright, let's go back in and I'll show you, I don't know, a different costume and the, the boss. Wonderland. Character. Seriously, if you had to play this with... Oh, there we go. We'll use a different costume. If you had to play this on the keyboard, I don't know how you pull it off, but good luck. Alright, so if you know the bosses from the first game, you'll know they were generally an exercise in frustration, and usually went on slightly too long, at least in my opinion. Uh, this seems like it's actually a really nice length, and I hopefully should be able to get this on my first try as long as I keep somewhat focused. Uh, there is a certain degree of memorization, though, just in knowing what to expect from the boss. The first time I played it, I didn't understand. There were some arrows that were pointing at something, and I didn't really get what the deal was with that until the first time when I screwed it up. But after that, I learned my lesson. You just hold up at that point, and then you're pretty much good to go. Hey, I got a reward for 30 seconds of airtime or something. 30 minutes? I don't know what it said. I didn't really read it. So I'm just going to keep jumping and sliding and bumping and grinding Hippin' and hopping, jiving and wailing. Anyway, another arrow. There we go. I keep thinking I'm gonna land in the background for a split second. That does not happen though. So we've got some faster cannonballs. Tougher sequence, perhaps. This is on still medium difficulty, in case you're wondering. I may want to attempt this actually on hard and see how much harder it gets. Kind of curious to know, actually. Maybe we should do that next. And then we'll do one more level in the second world. So I don't want to spoil the game either, there's some pretty cool uh, backgrounds and crazy details and junk later. I really like those dudes in the background, they, I don't know if they're like a cross between a moon and a whale or something with a monocle. They're definitely interesting looking. There's pristine clouds, it's got a very like little big planet vibe to it. And I don't think I got the bullseye on this last time. And I didn't this time either, oh well. It seems really frustrating, though, like, that you could get so far and then, like, get a perfect on the whole level and then screw the whole thing by not getting the bullseye at the end. Which just seems... I mean, it's not luck, but it's, like, it's a little bit more than you should probably expect people to be able to do every single time. Unless I'm just missing it. Regardless, that's a perfect on that. Let's do that again on Super Mega Hard. Normally it would play all the cutscenes right now uh, as we unlock the Emerald Brine. And you can see on the map here, is there's uh, another area on the, the right top, and then a bottom right, and then uh, there's a couple more clouds. I don't know if they're actually hiding anything. The Welcome I know, Wonderland. The Welcome Wonderland. Let's go back to Rather Hard, which is the hardest difficulty. And see if we can knock that out. Wish me luck, this is probably going to be extremely tough. The only level I've even attempted on that difficulty is the original first level, and that was a task and a half. Although I didn't actually play much into the game when I made that decision to try that out, so who knows, maybe I can do more of them now. Now that I've got some practice. And practice you shall do. This is one of those games that definitely requires some time put in. I really like that this guy can just, like, slide indefinitely also. I wish I could do that. Super cool. Fonzie cool. Alright, up, down, up, down, jump, down. Whoa, two close together, three close to go. That was really close. Alright, another arrow. 
If they make me do too many sequences of those, I'm probably gonna screw it up. So far, I've been able to hold my own, though. I'm proud of myself. It's a self-esteem building game. It's constantly telling you about all your achievements and all your accomplishments, and it makes you feel really good. As long as you don't do terribly at it, then. Well, I guess it would still tell you some good things, because eventually you'll reach a couple <laughs> good points. That was insane. I can't believe I got that on my first try. And yes, I have never tried this yet on this difficulty, so that was a complete sight read. I'm very excited that I pulled that off. Alright, let's do one more cannon, and then we'll move on. Hit that target, man. Do it! <sighs> so close. I've really only gotten a handful of those on the bullseye. Perfect! And see, now I have to do the whole thing again if I want to get the little X mark on it as well. Unless I can... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe you can actually beat the level without getting a perfect, but as long as you get... Oh no, you have to get the perfect to get to the cannon. Never mind, I don't know the what I'm talking Emerald about. Alright, let's do a completely new level. I have not done this one yet, let's try it. I haven't gotten to the key unlocking area or anything yet, so this is all new stuff. So instead of crazy whales in the background or moon whales or whatever, now we've got barrels with eyes. Uh, I did notice a pretty good difficulty jump from the first level to the second, so there's a good chance that I'm going to get a little hung up here. And if I do for too long, I'll probably move on. And I think I just saw it. Yep, there's a retro tape underneath me. I may have to just fall on that. I actually, I tried to die there so I could get back to it. Because I don't want to miss those at all. Under, jump, down. Oh, it was that one. I couldn't remember which hole it was that I needed to fall through. I'll get it this time. Oh, I don't know why I just decided to slide there. That was completely random. I feel like this is one of the first episodes I can say with a little bit of uh, confidence that hopefully you guys won't think I'm absolutely terrible at this game. Very proud to be able to do that. It's a rare event for me, as you probably know. Alright, let's see how hard this second retro level is. And it looked like you can actually unlock... Oh, I don't know, that's a kick. Okay, I forgot there's going to be other stuff integrated. And it's like a Super Meat Boy uh, challenge where you have only three lives to get through it, which makes it even crazier. I just jumped there, I don't know why. Anyway, what I was going to say before is you can unlock a costume for Commander Video that will make him into a retro version. I love the music here as well. That was a huge failure. Alright, well I needed to duck, I didn't do it. I deserve a game over there. So, uh, one more attempt. Oh crap, I have it left on rather hard, that's why this is so bad. Well, <laughs> it might be too late now. I don't honestly expect that I'm going to beat this on rather hard, it's probably going to be too much for me. I'm going to need to come back later, when my skills are a little bit more polished. That one, okay. There we go. Up, up, kick. Bounce. Alright, under, grab, down. Man, this alien loves gold so much. Alright, that actually went surprisingly well. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we got one more chunk of this. I feel like it's possible. Kick. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but I panicked when I saw the two paths. I was like, I don't know which thing I want to do. I don't think I want it to be harder. <laughs> Indecision is your worst enemy here. I don't, wow, that was also a miserable failure. Let's actually pay attention to the game. How about that? Jump. Under. Oh, it didn't, it didn't take the top route. I gotta die. I don't know what happened there. I thought I hit it. I guess I missed it by a little bit. Can you tell there's just a little... a subtle... Oh, come on, man. Why does that keep happening? There's a subtle difference when you you hit jump or versus when you hit it and hold it. Like, I, man, I'm just screwing this whole thing up now. 
trying to show you off what it looks like when you hold the button versus when you just tap it. And I need to stop doing that because it's just ruining the whole video. Alright. There we go. Okay, that... I don't understand. Am I supposed to jump both of those at the same time? I did it the first time, right? Thought I did, anyway. No, I do have to hit it, but I think I have to hit it, like, way early. I don't know. I forget it. I'm just... <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> I actually did a jump kick there. Like I said, you can combine commands, which is both a blessing and a curse, because it means that these challenges are only going to get much, much harder. And if you're wondering why I keep putting out my blocker thing, it's only because my 360 D-pad is kind of inaccurate, and it decides to grab both inputs most of the time. Holy junk. There we go. Wow. That was tricky. I'm really disappointed, though, that I'm not going to get all the gold bars. Big jump. And big finish. Big rock finish. Ugh, sad that I don't get to use the cannon, though. Anyway, I think this has been a fairly decent look at what you might expect from this lovely Runner 2 game that I've been talking so much about for the last little bit. Um, if you need to be told this, you know, obviously a huge recommendation when this comes out on the 26th of February 2013. That's just in case you end up watching this video far off into the future. Um, I think there's not too many games that you could get much more value out of for the price. Uh, and then if you pre-ordered, I believe you also get a copy of the original runner, and if you already have the original runner, then you actually can... Oh, here we go. Slide plus jump. Uh, but if you already have the original runner, then you can actually gift that to a friend, so it's kind of like a win-win. This is gonna kill me. I don't like this at all. It's hard enough just dealing with normal challenges, but now we're combining stuff? That's a nightmare and a half. Alright, well, I think this is going to be where my skills break down anyway, so probably a good moment to end the video. Thank you so much for watching, as always, guys. I uh, really do recommend that you check this one out. Possibly pick it up if this is the type of thing you're into. Uh, the difficulty curve is a lot more accommodating than the original, so I think you guys are going to probably get into it. And if you have to, there's no shame in playing on easy. I'll never, I'll never call you out for it, I promise. Uh, but, you know, if you do pick it up, I'll see you on the leaderboard. should be good. So, yeah, as always www.indie-impressions.com Check out all the videos, old and new Sort them by distribution method, by payment style I can't believe I'm playing this and talking at the same time It's completely insane to me I just missed that gold bar though Oh my goodness uh, And when you're done with the website, facebook.com slash indie impressions I have to stop for a second <laughs> There we go yeah, and uh, leave a like on that if you choose, then you'll get every day's new video delivered to your Facebook stream. And I'm gonna have an aneurysm. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, then you'll get every day's new news updates. I missed all these gold bars. Okay, I, that's not a good idea. Don't ever try and do this whole talking thing when you're trying to, you know, think carefully and play this game at the same time. Right. Website, Facebook, Twitter, at Rockley Smile. Send me a message. I want to talk to you guys. Tell me how you think this video was. I'd love to hear from you, honestly. Uh, and if you're a game dev and you want to send me over your indie game for a possible video on the series, at Rockley Smile. That's the place to send it. Just a little tweet. That's all you need to do to start a conversation. I also have a contact form on the website, too. So, you know, if that's not enough, uh, you know, 140 characters or whatever, so that's not enough for you to write to me. I understand. Uh, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you come back again tomorrow for another awesome indie game. And I hope you have a lovely night. And I hope you do lots and lots of running in your future anyway. Alright, talk to you later. <laughs>